What up y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Rider Price. As you can tell, it's hot as fuck, y'all. Like it's hot. Hot, it's hot as fuck. What is yeah, it? Like 90 degrees? It's probably like 95 right now. No way. I don't know. I'm fucking tripping, bro. Oh I'm checking for you. It's 91. Oh. It's because the garage is small. So that's the downside of working in a small ass garage. If you didn't watch the last video that I posted, you seen that I couldn't make out of my garage. So in today's video, I told you guys. I gotta raise it. If not, I'm not able to drive it. So pretty much that's what we're doing today. We're raising the car. You see, I got it, we already got it jacked up. I got the tools laid out. Um, I made a video already, like how to raise it and lower it, but I'll show you a little bit. But wait, let me see, let me show them. Remember y'all when um when I told you guys my shit was leaking? This is how it looked like. It's been like what? Like, I could say like one, 12 hours. Yeah. So this is how it looked after 12 hours just sitting here. So I gotta fix this issue after um I fucking lower the I mean raise the car, but like y'all it's a pretty decent puddle from I don't know what still I gotta figure out and I got like right here I got a wrench to see if um it's loose or not but I doubt it's loose and then I got this um plumbing's tape so we're gonna see what I can do about that if not I have another oil cooler in my house so then if it doesn't fix. The issue, I'm gonna have to like just swap out the old oil cooler. I don't think y'all have this. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys have this? Cause my BC coil is like my first time ever lowering it or raising it. Um, for re some reason I was stuck. Like it didn't go anywhere. But then it was a bracket here, so I had to loosen up this bracket. Let me know if you guys had the same bracket. Cause I honestly do not know what that is. It might be to my brakes, but let me know in the comments if you're just like this. It took a minute because this bracket. I had to keep like every time I turned the. The coil, I had to like readjust the bracket right here, as you can see. But like, if you guys don't know how to adjust coils and you have BC coils, to raise the car first, you gotta unloose this. This is like a lock right here. The bottom one's a lock, so make sure to unloose this first. And then once it's loose, you're pretty much good to go. So there's two notches up here. This top one right here is um to lower the car, so you'd go left to lower it. And then this bottom bracket right here, the smaller one, you go right. So pretty much, this is a large one, and then right here is the small one. So for example, to um, the way I'm going right here, I grab it, and you see how it hooks? So I'm gonna push towards the car. So that's how you raise the car, and then say you wanna um, lower it, it's this way. So you like get the bigger one, and then you pull the top one. And then once you're all done, which we are, we, lo we lowered it an inch. So from five inches, now it's at six inches. So we raised it up an inch. So then you just lock it, lock this back, boom, tighten it, which I'm gonna do after um, uh, turn the camera off, but tighten this. I got. I don't know if you guys have this, so I'm gonna tighten the bracket, put the wheel back on, and then go to the other side, do the same exact measurement. If you're wondering how I measured it, um, it's up to you, but I measured from this top piece right here, the crevice, between the black piece and then the gold bracket, right here, all the way down to right here, literally to the black piece, but the top part. So you gotta figure out how you're gonna measure it. If you lose track, you kind of like you kind of need to measure it. Now you're gonna like fuck up. So I measured it one inch. So now we're gonna go to the other side and then do the other side, and then once we do that side. We're gonna see how it looks, and then do I gotta take this space out? But dude, I don't know how to take this space out. It's stuck. Look it, bro. What is this? This is this is the 2.5, huh? I told you. I knew it was a 2.5 because I remember. Yeah, that has. That's not a five right there. Yeah, that's not a five. How come the other one is bigger? Wait, is that a speech right there? Yeah, huh? No. Yeah, it is. Wait. Is that? So you were just running a 2.5 spacer? Nah, bro. It's a spacer. On God, it's a spacer, I think. Your hub is just, that's your whole hub, dog. No cap. For reals? There's no way. I need to check. But let me go ahead and do the other side. And then I'm going to show you guys once we drop the car. Because look at my hand. My hand's fucking red, y'all. It's just annoying. It's pretty hot. But I'm doing the other side. My homie was supposed to do the other side because he was helping. Johnny, if you're watching this, you left me in the dust, my boy. Nah, I'm playing. He had to go do something. He had to go drop something off, but he'll be right back. By that time, I'll probably be almost finished. So pretty much. So on that side, um, I took off this spacer. So I took off this spacer, right? 
Um, but actually I didn't. I, I added another one. So I try to add. I, I try to add this one. If you guys ask me, to be honest, I think it's a 15. I think this is a 15 or 20. I really don't know. Because I forgot when I bought it. But um, I try to stack um, the one that's on the wheel, which is a 20. And I try to stack these two. But the only thing that was wrong is like the thread was like this much um, left. So like when I try to put this on, like it looks super sketchy. So I was like, nope. Took it off. I ended up not putting this one on but i did found, i found this one it's a universal one i got from like amazon so i put this on instead and i put this on so this is a five and i think this is a i don't know it looks the same right so probably it's two five so now it's a ten probably don't even quote me because i mean i forgot Look who decides to show up. I'm about to jack this who's wing. Hell yeah. I was waiting for you, bro. Guys. Yeah, so like you can get to work. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. Nah, that side was easier. For some yeah. reason, um, this side was more like, it was more like stiff. You got, you got the spacer done or? Yeah. All right, look it. Now I was telling my supporters that, um, you know how I told, like, told you I was to put the other 20 or whatever? Oh, yeah. The, I forgot about the threads. Oh. Dude, there was like this much. Oh. I was like, hell nah, but I put, um. You would need to extend your, I like, put, your hub, huh? or like the little. Hey guys, studs. I'm going to show you guys. So I didn't show you guys. So I got, what well, I think this is a 20 and I put those two here. I put oh, the two, the okay. two skinny ones. Oh yeah. So you made a what? You made a, you made a 10? I don't know. Because the two skinny ones are five, no? Oh. <laughs> But yeah, I'm almost finished with this side, bro. So then we're gonna drop it and see how it is. So this is how it looks. Hella clearance now. So look it. Look at that fucking gap now, y'all. So pretty much, this is what I'm gonna do now. So this is a, this is a 245, 35 by 19. And then I have tires in my garage. There's a, that's a hot that was a helicopter. But the tires in my garage are 245s, 40 by 19. So what I'm gonna do, not today, but um, when the tire shop's open, I'm gonna throw the other tire on back onto this car and the, this wheel. And then I'm gonna see how far is the gap and then I'm gonna close it off from there. But as of now, I should be able to clear anything, bruh. I can't run over a fucking big ass fucking speed bump and shit. But like, that's how it looks. This is how it looks from far. Yeah, see? So that 35 has to go, I have to put back the 40. So pretty much I'm gonna leave the height like this and then just throw my other tire and see, I'm gonna go from there. Because might as well, because I'm gonna go boost anyways. And if you guys, if you guys know the turbo kit that I got, it goes under the car, it goes under the, um, by the transmission. So it would be bad to be as low as I was because um, I don't want to hurt, you know, break the turbo. And why to I lay with it? And why to I lay with it? I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide What up, y'all? It's been like, I have to say, like it's been I think a week or two later Since that video where I raised my car up Let me tell you guys, y'all, like some stupid shit, annoying shit happened that day. Remember how I showed you guys the oil was leaking? Well, it ended up, after I woke up the next day, it ended up like a big puddle. That shit just leaked all the oil out. And then I couldn't drive the car. And I had to leave it like that. But let me show you guys. Before like I explain the rest of what happened, let me show you guys what I did. So, that car, when I raised it, 
let me tell y'all that shit look but ugly bro like that shit like bothers me like i don't know i like i like good fitment like decent fitment at least but that shit was way too high an inch was way too high like i thought the inch would be like a little bit like perfect but no it was way too high so i ended up driving like that night um when i when I, when I test drove the car with the rollers my homie took that night after that it was nighttime right bro tell me why i went to the garage and got to work yo. i got to work straight to work and i didn't finish till like 12 at night or 1 a.m like i had to just lower the car because that shit was bothering me i don't think i could sleep that day seeing that look like that you know like a monster truck but let me show you guys how it looks right now because um your boy lowered it and I added a spacer. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below after I show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys right now. So that's the rear, right? The rear's still the same, fire. But look, let me know, let me know. Look at the front. Boom, let me know what you guys think. How does it look? Way better, right? That shit, I was like finally happy. I was like, all right, I can go to bed now. But this is how it looks. Yes, sir. Let me go closer. So. It's like, what, two fingers and shit, but before y'all, it was fucking huge. Like, it's a big ass difference, right guys? Let me show you the spacer I did, look at it. So, I put the space on. Boom, look at that fitment though. That shit fire. Look at that, from the top. Boom, right on the rim. Imagine it had bags, boom. The rear. I'll go from far too so you guys can see it. Just watch. You guys see it? Hopefully the sun doesn't block it, but like, Fire, huh? I look, I low key fuck with the spacer because I added it. It hasn't fallen off on me so far because low key the thread on my lug nut is like not as much as it's supposed to be. Here's this side. Boom, boom. If you guys didn't know, I had a boosted performance kit. Um, I haven't started yet. I know you guys are waiting for that coming soon. It's just been way too hot. Like. So pretty much, it came with an oil cooler, right guys? So the oil cooler that I had previously, I had took that off because like it was all ripped, like the wires, and then that's where it was leaking. That's where it was leaking from. So I completely swapped out the whole inner cooler. I mean, oil cooler, I'll show you guys right now. I swapped out the whole inner, oil cooler. I keep saying inner cooler, oil cooler. I swapped it out with the boosted performance kit it came with. It's way bigger too, guys. Like, let me tell you, like I put like, I bought two quarts of fives. So I had 10 quarts and I have like two quarts left. Like it almost took like seven and seven and a half quarts of oil, bro. And before it was six and a half. Like that's a lot of oil, y'all. Like, but like it's a hassle, y'all. I ended up switching it. It's like it leaked like a like I didn't want to get into it no more, y'all. Like that shit got me heated yesterday. But I finished it yesterday, threw back the bumper on, and now we're here. And everything's all said and done. Got the new oil cooler. And let me show you guys. If you guys want to see it. If you're wondering what an oil cooler is, is that look how bigger it is? Like it's huge. That's what she said. But like, yeah, look at got that installed, did everything, and then finally it was able to drive it. Right now I'm driving it, see if it leaks or not. It's been looking good so far. But yeah, so now that that's done and done, the car is finally now drivable in the streets i can finally go back to going to cruises making more videos i haven't been making videos because i was trying to get this shit installed and like just fix the problem with the oil leak because that shit was leaking y'all and like it's it was it's been hot if you guys know it's been 95 degrees in socal and my garage is like is no ac and it's small as fuck so one day i was like fuck it i have to get this shit done because if not i'm never gonna get that shit done because i work and shit and let me tell you guys, I was sweating my ass off. Like, I was sweating to the point where, like, you're not sweating more no more. Like, no more sweat comes out. Like, I was just dripped up. I just wanted to update you guys. Add this in the end of the that clip. So, like, you guys don't think that I left the height like that. Because you're probably like, oh, hell nah. Raise that shit. I mean, lower that shit right now. I lowered it, y'all. Hopefully, you're happy. Because I'm happy. Because that shit wasn't staying like that for long. The same day, I went back and got to work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'm finally able to like host cruises again or go on cruises, make POV videos. That's next. I'm gonna do a POV driving video of this bumper because I, ha I literally haven't driven in it. This is my first time driving it in three months with the bumper. So leave a like if you wanna see more POV driving videos right now. Like that shit up. Like it up. And I'll catch you on the next video. Brighter Fries. I'm out. Deuces.